Hello, this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and I have a Goodwill haul today. So these items will start being incorporated into my live sales right here on my YouTube channel every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time and Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. But if you see something you're interested in, please leave a comment below or you can send me an email. My email address is in the description below and we can talk about the items. Um, also, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I go live for my sales and when I put out new content like this. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. All right, so let's dig in here. Uh, well, first off, I can see this really cute little milk jug and there's a there's an item that they put on the inside. I'll get to that one next. <laughs> so this is an Anesco, and it looks like it still has a um, antique booth <laughs> tag on it. Um, but I loved the pretty, um, really happy design, very 80s looking, but um, that is just like happy morning sunshine there with the milk jug. And uh, I know I have somewhere, I don't know if we'll find it today or if we'll find it another time, but I did get matching um, salt and pepper shakers to that also. All right, let's see. Oh, how could I resist this little guy here? So this guy is a purple donkey and he's got some kind of what feels like actual fur here. His little tail, I think is actual fur also. Look at that, he's a dapper little fella with his red bow tie on. And I think, yep, he's got a little Japan mark right there. But isn't he just sweet? And how often do you see a purple donkey? I sure don't. So that was a really fun little find. Oh, I've got, I think, cat hair floating around. Okay. Love copper. And so I saw this. This might just be a single, but oh, it is so good. Capper, copper candle holder. Love that. Um, got some wood and stainless steel. Love these kind of servers. Um, I was looking on the bottom. Oh, it does say stainless steel right there. Not sure of the country of origin on this, but these little condiment holders are really great to have around. So I like picking those up. And when they have that fun mid-century modern flair of the wood and the stainless steel, that is a bonus. Um, here is a pair. Speaking of kind of mid-century modern, look at these candle holders, not the same size. So they add a lot of uh, kind of dimension because they're not matchy-matchy. <laughs> um, doesn't say on the bottom where they were made, but yeah, a really nice piece of wood was used on that. And this one, yeah, you can see the nice texturing in there. So yeah, really fun set of candlestick holders. Okay, and then the rest of this is kind of wrapped up here. Oh, here is one. Let's see, so this is the pepper that matches that. And you can see cute little like milk jug design. And the salt is in here somewhere. And oh, so I picked this up and this is part of a set. Let me get this tape off of here. So you can see this really pretty flower. And this great, look at that, oh, blue on the inside, sugar um, sugar dish. 
not marked on the bottom of this one, but oh, I love the shape. Love that blue flower. And I'm pretty sure I have the creamer somewhere also with that. Oh, and here is the salt. There we go. So that is a cute set, milk and salt and pepper. Okay, and then with, I'll say fall time and Halloween coming up, I picked this one up because this is, I'm not even sure my camera's really even going to be able to pick this up. Let me get this off of here and I'll try to really get this luster so you can see. There we go. Um, and this is marked Germany on the back, but this is such an, it's like a coppery orange luster. It is so fantastic in person. And then we've got the black handle. I have to say, this is such a cool set. Now this um, saucer also has a black rim around it right there. So yeah, again, thinking really fun things for Halloween decor with that holiday coming up. I thought this cup and saucer would be so cool because it is such a vibrant, very coppery orange color. Really neat. I'm going to put that there. And oh yes. Now this I picked up as a pair, but we've got metal. I think it's metal. Yep. Metal. It's got something written on the bottom here. Let me see. If I can see what that says, oh my gosh. Barber, Barber Bros, New York City. Boy, it is, it is teeny, teeny, tiny written on the bottom there. But yeah, so we've got this metal and then we have this beautiful like plum colored glass and this fancy little like cordial, you know, or, you know, morning orange juice. I mean, why not be fancy about it? And uh, so there are a pair of those. Oh, this is part of a set also. Look at this handsome fella. He's got his arm ready for a little bouquet of flowers. Now I did find the little gal that goes with him. And this is Goldham's Ceramics San Francisco. He's got a little sticker right there. But isn't he just adorable? And wait till you see her. Oh, she is fantastic too. And oh, here is the other glass. So again, this is a beautiful pair and that really nice plum color we'll get it into the little more natural light there and you can see how beautiful that purple is and i don't pick up i will say a lot of these baby planters except when I mean, that face is just too cute. I couldn't pass up that face. So sweet, those lashes, and it's in really good condition. I don't think it was probably ever used. There is a number on the bottom. So I'll see if I can figure out if that is like a NAPCO or uh, or who's And then love the little Avon uh, Pomodoro with the little scents there. This one, 
I don't think, no, this one doesn't have the inside still, but it is Avon 1983, the pretty little sleepy kitten. And I picked up a few of these. Now these are just hand painted vases, but loved the design, loved the paint job on these, thought that they were really well done. So you'll see a couple more of these, but uh, yeah, I really like very nicely hand painted vases. I think they add a lot, um, just a nice little splash of color to decor. And oh, here is the creamer. Okay. Look at the shape of this. Oh, isn't this just a fantastic set? Look at that with that great lid and that wonderful handle for the creamer. I love this set. Again, no sticker on it, um, but gosh, it's fantastic. Oh, yeah, and it is blue also on the inside. Here is a little Joseph's Originals. Pretty little gal with her flowers. Now I think she is, yeah, she's a birthday and she is March. Joseph's Originals. And she's sweet. Still her original arm is intact. And then I've got this. Oh, this was a really good find. Look at her, the October angel with that fantastic mask. Oh, I love it. Now, I do think possibly, let me double check her spaghetti on the bottom here. Well, maybe not. I couldn't quite tell in the store. You can see that there's just a little bit of an irregular shape. And I couldn't quite tell if she was missing some, but I don't think so. I think her little, um, her little spaghetti is intact there, but uh, yeah, still her original wings on here and everything. And she's got her sticker, um, Napco sticker. Had to look at that one real quick there, Napco. Okay, and then I've got a couple of trays. So this one is, yeah, this one is a dare or dar or dahar. <laughs> I never know how to pronounce that. And then this one has a beautiful fruit design on it. Very classic looking. And this is tin. So that is a nice tin tray. We put that, oops. That right there. Yeah, that was a good choice. And then this one is a hobbyist piece, but I loved this. This is all ceramic, even though it kind of looks like it could have metal around there, but it is all ceramic. And on the back here, it says Northwest China Painters Guild raffle July 6, 1991, hand painted by Elizabeth, and it looks like Schmer, S-C-H-M-E-R. And this is in, I have to say, beautiful, like really beautiful condition. And I'll get in here close so you can see that she's got a little butterfly in here. And yeah, it is in really nice condition. So that was a great find. Okay. Moving on to my second little bag here. And we've got Joe up here on the box. So if you see a black cat moving around, yep, it is Joe. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. <laughs> so I've got these, oh, these fantastic metal angel candle holders and there is some candle stuff in there that I will get out and on the bottom here it's marked MHC but I loved the look of those 
those were great. And this is, yeah, some sort of a metal. We'll have to look up and see what MHC means. And I'm going to move, move this bag up here. It's a little unbalanced, and I don't want things to go flying out of here. Okay. So I've got another Joseph's original here, and she is September. She is gorgeous, and oh, she does still have her original book. So amazingly, Goodwill did one thing right, and they put the little sticker here and kept her book intact with her. So that was very nice. And crackle glass. I love finding really nice crackle glass pieces. And this is a great vase with the lovely top on it. And again, great color for fall coming up, being that nice honey amber color. Okay, and this is another little vase. Um, it's got part of a sticker left on it. And it is like a little bag. You can see it's even got like a little string. But the flowers look pretty darn good on this one, I have to say. So I picked up that little vase. And here is another one of the hand-painted vases that I picked up. Very nicely done. And again, even has a nice little design around the base, little rim around there. But yeah, I really liked how those um, little hand-painted vases were done. And here is another set. Um, this one, um, I believe I do have the creamer to also. And look at that beautiful design. Again, kind of an aqua blue. I loved that. This does have a mark on the bottom. It probably goes that way. So I'll do some investigating on that to see what that mark means. Yeah, picked up this. Now, this is the Indiana Glass Diamond Point pattern. Love this pattern. You can see how beautiful the light sparkles in it. And this one is a pink one. So, had to pick that one up. That was lovely. I don't find too much pink in the Indiana Glass pattern. And, oh, here is another little angel. She is the, does that say January? I think that says January angel. And she's got this nice little kind of sugary, more just glitter, but she's got like a little um, muff there for her fingers. And oh yeah, this one, I could not believe this was sitting on the shelf. Could not believe it. Now I know even with my all the lights on and all of the daylight coming through, I know you can see that glow. Holy cow. Look at this thing. How did something like this end up at Goodwill? I have no idea. But boy, did I snatch that up. 
Oh, man. Yeah, I, I don't know how that happened, but boy, I felt lucky that day. And then here is the third of those beautiful little hand-painted uh, vases that I picked up. And again, loved the design on this one. So yeah, those three, three of those, that was a really fun find. And... Oh, okay, here is the creamer that matches that sugar. Isn't that gorgeous? And then the design again of the logo. Again, I'll look that up. But uh, yeah, so I think I will stop here for today. There is another bag or so from this Goodwill um, of goodies that I will be showing at a later date. And uh, yeah, then I will find the match to this handsome fella in that um, she does have the same coloring and oh, they are such a great little set so yeah so i think this was a phenomenal trip to the goodwill very excited to again be bringing these items into my live sales but if you saw something you were interested in um, let me know and um, in the comments below or you can send me an email and um, again, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and share the video. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.